So now we are going to see material status control, which is the final control. And we have got five controls. One is the serial control, one is the lot control, one is the revision control, one is the locator control, and then the final control is the material status control. So it becomes sharp. So go there. So this is already control levels. I had to upload that. Otherwise, I will not forget it. Now, sir, I will not do it. Otherwise, I have a habit of forgetting it. I am going to go to the SCM training. I am going to do SCM training. Ah, sorry. So many people suggesting that I am. Yes. Oracle SCM training. I am going to open it. I am going to open up the inventory documentation on this one. Open up the fusion inventory documentation. Let me upload this control level file now. Control level. I will now file upload and then let us now open up the control level. I will now go to this place. I will now go to the J column. I will now Oracle SCM training. Okay, I will now go to the fusion inventory documentation. I will now go to the control level. Control level. Where is it? C, 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 C. Where I have kept it now? Control level is there. So control level file is now getting uploaded. One upload complete. Maybe coming. So this is the control level. So you just download it also. So now let us go there and then see this stuff. I will take everybody. People come in a different manner. Oh God, people don't follow things now. I'm so many over. He's asking without refresh now. It's very, very difficult actually. Mm. Ah, okay. Now we are going to go for the control levels. Material status control. This is a very famous control. And then we were following this even when there were no computers in our company actually. I was working on steel authority at the time. What happens in 1980s at the time, there were no computers. So we are using this metal control to get extra. Now go that. Now, put the ceremony and maintenance on that. Now go for the final control. Now find control of maintenance. And then we are going to begin the final control. Material status control. So click on search now. I will now say manage uh, material status. Material status only. So go to the manage material status is the task name now. Manage material status is the task name. Check on the hyperlink of it. Hyperlink of it. Let me create a status. I am going to get a status. Now, this, this status, I am going to use it for dissolving everything. Now. So, go there. I will not say K01. I will not say dissolve. Dissolve. I am not going to dissolve all the transactions actually for training purposes. In reality, it is not so. So, I will not say allow reservations. Fine. Reservations and then allow ATP. ATP is available to promise, which we will be learning in, uh, in this thing, in, in order management. Netable. Suppose if a sub inventory, we are now keeping the stock in a very haphazard manner, let us say, here and there. So when you keep it, let us say there are 50 laptops of that, or 10 laptops of that. If you go on and find out, you'll be able to find out only nine. The tenth one, you don't know where exactly you have to be here. Go, 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 then search for it. Sometimes it may not even be available. So if the stock cannot be retrieved for issue, fine, those sub inventories are known as non netable sub inventories. So planning will not consider the stock at all when it is really planning it. So, if it is a netable, you have to be keeping the item in a very orderly manner in the sub -inventory. Then only we can enable it, otherwise we cannot enable it. So, this is mainly applicable only for planning actually. And then the material status also. So, consider these sub which are having all the three edge. And then go there. So, your yeah, status is basically applicable for four controls, four usages they call it. One is what? A sub usage. One is the locator usage. One is the lot usage. And then one is the serial usage. Say, for example, your yeah, laptop is there. And then it is an electronic product. And then every week you are going to make a test of it. And then you are not testing it now. And then if you press the on button, it is not switching on. So you will not disallow that to be issued to a customer actually. That particular serial number, 105 is having a problem. So if you disallow that 105, what happens? Even the sales order cannot pick at all. <clears throat> this disallow. So in which case, what happens? You will not do this what? I will not say sales issue. Now. Sales order issue will not bring it right. And then if it is a raw material, let us say, we will no, not issue it to the uh, manufacturing at all. Raw materials will not be issued to the manufacturing at all. Go down, go down. So, where is it? Work in process material issue. So, normally, 
in our company we will now create a dissolve only for what sales orders and manufacturing but if a, if a particular uh, a laptop let us say the on off button is having a problem i can very well move it between supplementaries i can even very well move it between two orgs i can do all of the transactions Fine. all these transactions dissolve consign transactions everything can be done so we normally use it only for these two. but since it is a training even a miscellaneous issue also i want to what am i doing now Fine, you that you want or in other words what am i no more everything over here Fine. for demonstration what am i have no more everything so normally these things are only for issue actually Fine. so we cannot issue it if the disallow is there on this so any doubt so a disallow can be created for four usages of sub inventory locator lot serial and then we can specifically disallow certain transactions please. and we normally do in our company only sales order issue and then work work and process issue only the remaining we allow but since it is the training i am disallowing everything to show you even the miscellaneous issue is going to be disallowed clear on this now fine no doubts good hey all all of you there you can say you have understood fine somebody can say me and is it understood it's not thank you so uh, so a disallow is created it is active and then these are the four usages i have now for the training purposes that disallowed everything fine click on okay now fine so after having created it what happens can i close the screen and then come out of it you should not what i have to do now in this place tell me i should not simply close it now. save and close save and close remember if you don't do the save and close it will not be saved at all whenever a screen has got a save and close or submit you have to do it now otherwise what happens it will be rolled back all the uh, what happens the database terminology it will be getting rolled back fine fine click on save and close now if a save and close a submit is there you have to do it now so we are now done it fine it is for four usage let me go on and create an item <coughs> i am not going to create an item so click on it so let me go on and get an item hey abu bakar <coughs> i want to answer you i want to listen to your question after some time but he is now missing now <laughs> oh god i would otherwise i would have taken the question at that time itself you are saying that he is now so busy with this he work now he always work so click on create now so click on create now i am going to create now so go there zero zero he was asking me in the afternoon sir can we stop it after 2 hours now fine i am having a lot of work <laughs> so for individual ones we cannot stop like this now and i i told him it's not possible so go that you know i am now going to go for the eighth item which is going to have a material status company so go there k0108 fine match status match status and the digital so take copy it and go that one i will put the description so go that one description so here i am not going to enable the status for the item actually go the inventory now that i am going to enable this now if you want to enable the status here fine go that so first of all the item must be controlled now fine if it is not serial controlled the serial status cannot be enabled so we'll now go that you want i will not make it the pre specified so once when you make it the pre specified the starting prefix and starting lot number are mandatory i will now say mouse underscore fine i will now say 3 not 1 so once when it is the pre defined these two are mandatory so then the status becomes enabled fine click on yes i will not make it this and then i will not say default status but default by default whenever we receive it for manufacturing normally what happens we either purchase the item or otherwise you manufacture the item that is how we will be getting the stock actually either you purchase it or you manufacture it by which whatever the stock in the inventory will be getting updated so i will not make it as what active so sorry it is active so, yes. so similarly the lot status can be enabled only when it is a lot control so you know see the number is enabled and this is the way so that so i will not enable the lot control the full control and lot control is a full control thing i will not give some sort of number test number score thing like so start number one you know giving some number thing like no shelf life i am not going shelf life is having a control remember fine if it is expired you cannot issue at all fine you cannot issue at all and that cannot be even picked you cannot pick it and then you cannot issue anything to the saves order fine if it is expired actually that is having a control so a lot is now having a full control now so the status can be enabled so i will not enable it so by default whenever you receive it what happens it will be having an active status active status so we are now enabled on the item the lot and serial numbers so there are four usages of a particular material status control one is what lot one is the serial number one is the sub inventory one is the locator so we are now going to test this first of all so i will now go there assign it fine go to the associations and then let me assign it and the association what is actually go to select and add so let me associate it so key 01 and enter number you go to associate so select it and then click on apply and then click on so the item is having a serial lot control fine is now getting assigned the eight database number 
Now, let us now go on and perform a result of this item. So now go to this place and then we'll now perform a result. Go to the inventory overview. So click on it. I'll now go to the inventory overview and then let us now receive it actually. So we are going to receive it and that part. So go to the create miscellaneous transaction. It's a pre specified means what? Since the order number, I have to generate the numbers. So I'll have to generate the numbers otherwise. Serial numbers has to be generated before, whereas lot numbers can be generated during transaction number. Lot numbers can be generated during transaction, whereas serial numbers has to be generated before transaction. I'm speaking a lot. Please take a notes also, fine. Otherwise, you'll forget it. You cannot remember it now. Please take a notes. You open up a word file and then take up important things, whatever I'm speaking now. Serial I'm numbers. Sorry, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, when we're taking notes, uh, you're going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you run the video, you take notes. No, fine. You cannot do, yeah, do yeah, it now. Yeah, I, I plan the same. No, no, thanks. Yeah. I'll take one <laughs> recording. Yeah. When you're running it again, because you see, you can run only once. You remember, many people have complained, sir, we don't have time and mood, patience at all when you go to the field. No, fine. Field, you won't have the time to what happens and then the mood also to run it again. Actually. So you will now listen it once. And then during listening once, you take all the notes. Okay? Afterwards, mm -hmm. only when a problem comes only, you will not touch these videos. Otherwise, you will not touch these videos at all. You will not sure, even sure. solve the problem by your own. Okay? You will not even run the record and see. No? <laughs> this is a practical <laughs> problem, actually. Yeah. Many people have told me, sir, 30, 40 videos, how come we can sit and then watch again? No? <laughs> serial. Right? Generate serial numbers. Generate Serial number percentage. So generally, they're all very big topics. Topics are so huge. That is why I have to rush it now. Otherwise, I won't rush it this week. So much of our topics are there. Tomorrow is going to be tough. Very tough, actually. <clears throat> because we now make further deep dive into inventory, actually. We already started deep diving into inventory. Tomorrow it will be even further deep sea dive, actually. So, general numbers. So, the serial numbers has to be generated. Actually. So, without which, what happens? We will not be able to perform at all. We are not given something, something, something. And then it may be even org level or item level. I am not very sure about it. So, general serial numbers. <clears throat> so, without uh, doing this, uh, why don't we, we then uh, set up uh, like a dynamic entry so that we can skip this, right? No, no, no. Uh, I don't want it because I want to show a problem now. Fine. <laughs> In the serial okay, dynamic, okay. what happens? Uh, the problem cannot be shown actually, right? for which only I have now made is a pre specified now. So here okay, I will not yes. show the problem actually. So I will not show the problem. So go there, click on open. I will not go to the numbers. So go there. Organization is what? K011. And go there. So item is what? K0108. Quantity is 100. So I am not generating it. I'm not so the request is submitted and we not let it run. So drop it on and then I'm going to make a release. So miscellaneous result now. So while receiving it, these controls will never come into picture at all. I'm going to go back on this one. Patchy. Delete it. Take copy it and then put it on this one. So go there, click on S. <clears throat> so click on plus no So here I will now say K0108 and then give it a eighth item. Yeah. So go there, place get it. Details. So I will now what happens? I will now go to the what's called sub inventory is what I will now choose what RMS1. RMS1. There is no locator at all. Either. So lot has begun, and then what happens in numbers? So if you go for 10 quantities, and then I will now put a lot. And the, and then the quantity will vanish actually. I will now say K01 underscore lot underscore one. If you give it up, the quantity will vanish. So, first you have to give the what happens is this one often. Oh, everything is coming in caps here. So, this one. So, it will go there. So, K01 underscore lot underscore one. I don't like capitals at all. The quantity will vanish actually. Whereas for serial numbers, after quantity only, we can do this one. Give it up. After. So go there, record lots of numbers. The item is a pre specified one. So whatever is generated only can give for the 10 numbers. No, 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 no. So enter the serial number range. You know, put on the range. So the lot is not done fine. Lot one is there. I will not say serial numbers here. Drop down and then choose it because it's a pre specified one. So click on search. 
and then I will now choose this one. Thank you, Consort again. So it has not chosen one, two, three now. So one, two, three. So click on okay. Fine. Whether all the 10 numbers will come or not, anybody? I got 100 numbers generated. Whether all the 10 will come or not. It will not come yes, because it is a digit sensitive in nature. So it will not come at all. So I will give it 10. So 10 to what happens is 20 will come. 10 to 20. So click on search now. 10 is not there. Only way, only nine is there actually. I have generated 100 numbers now for the eighth one. What I did now, I made a mistake. Yes, no, no. 100 only you made. I gave only 100 now. Fine, why yes, only yes. 10 is coming now? Come on, what is this? I now query for 10 and then click on search now. Fine. I gave 100 numbers now. Oh, you can check since the, the start number process, is one, right? what happens? It is not generating it at all. The start number is one. What happens is not M, M is something. M yeah, M yeah. Generation something. also is not happening yeah, yeah. because the single digit number is not doing it. Now what happens? I don't go there. I will not generate again. I keep on shading new process. So one to nine only it is generated actually. And the organization is what? K011. The item is what? K0108. I will now say another hundred other than nine hundred number. So one to nine only it is generated. And 10 is now ready for generation. Fine, click on submit now. So click on it. Now see whether it generates or not. 10 is now ready for generation. Oh God, it is an error actually. So what I will do is I will now go to this place now. So I will now right click and then duplicate now. So let me change the control to what I was the serial number control to item level. Let me change it to item level. Go to this place. So click on search now. Is a manage inventory or so let me go there and then change the control level of serial number to item level actually. P01. Entering. Soft and then click on edit now. Click on edit. Go to the next now. Click on next. So go to this place now. I'm not changing the item level. Because the org level starting serial number is not coming. Change the item level. So at the item I have given some number, now some start number, test underscore something, it will definitely remember. Yeah. So no, it is MOU. Huh? What is MOU? The MOU. Yes. What do you mean by MOU? I'm not even sure. Am I correct? So it will not pick up. Prefix is MOU. Okay, okay, doesn't matter. Okay, MOU, mouse. Okay, fine. Then the item we have a mouse prefix. So ah, yeah, it will right. be picked up. Yeah. The item prefix is what I'm saying. Now this time, what happens when I generate it will not give a problem. So go to this place now. Fine. Go to the monitor process. I will now select it and then resubmit it. So it is founded on this. So this is the error and auto retrieve means what? It is not able to do it now. So click on resubmit. So now no, we need to give 001, right? Serial starting. No, 101 zero, one or something like that. I have given the item. The item 101 or something like that. So go to the clone. So in the item level, I have already given 101 or something like that. So go to the come on, go, go, go. Run, run, run. We should not go to retrain now. And retrain means what? There is a problem with the item. It is completed. No, no. So you will now go to this place and go to the create miscellaneous transaction and drop it down. I will now see the numbers. Click on search now. Click on search. So one to nine is there. And then afterwards, what happens? We will be having some more numbers also. So go there. Mo underscore three not one. Let us not choose this one. Mo underscore three not one. So three not one to three ten will be there. So this is a ten corner. So for this one, what happens? We have a lot of lot one. With a mow 301 to 310. Clear on this now, fine. Please remember it. So this is a lot, and then this is a serial number. So click on OK. Lot one, and then one. Fine, click on OK. So go there. So go there. I will not, what happens? I give a plus. Here. So go to this place. Fine. So K0108 is the one time give a tab. I will not click on it. Sub inventory is same sub inventory. But a different lot. So the lot will be different. Now. So I will now say K01 underscore lot underscore 2 now. Fine. There's a lot 2. I will now go there. Go for 10 quantity. So 301 to 310 has been given for lot 1. So now 311 onwards, I am going to record. So 10 numbers, fine. Record lot on serial numbers. Fine. So click on the enter serial number range. We'll do it now. Fine. So drop down and then make a search now. Fine. Click on search. You're going to make it now. Fine. Search. And then click on search now. Fine. 310 onwards. 
and do that. So 311 onwards. 311 to 320, I am not doing it now. For a different lot. No. Find a different lot. So click on OK. Yeah. It's a lot to 311 to 320. You have simulated these two now. And then click on OK. This time, whatever I will not transact on some other submit. So click on this. I will not transact on some other sub. So K0108 so and whatever I I will not transact on some other. This is on RMS1. Click on edit. So this time I will not transact a pre specified sub inventory. So previously, what happened? I have done everything on RMS1. This time I am not doing it. Now. I will not say 11 star 11 star 11. I am not transacting it. So 11. So sorry. Click on search. Not one actually. So it is 11 actually. Ah. When you're searching it, what happens? You have to make a blank search number, otherwise, it will not show anything at all. So click on search now. Fine. So it will not show anything. So I will not choose the 11. 11 star, 11 star, 11 star. So here, what about the transaction quantity? I'm going to do and the pre specified one. So in the pre specified one, lot is not coming. Why? Locator is there. Why lot is not coming? The pre specified. Come on. Yeah. No, 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 no. Sub inventory is pre specified. Item is having a lock, lock, locator and lock control. Fine. What is the item? Fine. 0108 is the one. This is the one. Come on. Why it is not coming? Transaction quantity, I will not put 10 now. Fine. Or I will not say 20 quantities. Or 10 only, I will not put 10. Oh, then so we need to log out? Maybe, no. maybe, maybe something like that. It is now behaving in a ultra fashion, actually. Fine. After quantity, lot is coming. Fine. But lot only, the quantity can be. I will not go that quantity. I will not say K01. Maybe. Whenever such things happens, so whatever you log out and log in. So go there. So go K01 underscore lot underscore three now. Third lot. We give it up. The 10 has to go away. Go is going. No going. So the lot was not coming after a time. Some problems are there. So you may have to log out and log in. No go there. Enter city numbers. So 21. So 0 to 1, 11 to 20, 21 to 30. Not put 21 to 30. So click on search. 21 to 30. 21 to 30. So, lot 3 is having 21 to 30. So, we have done it. So, we are now going to begin with the first one of serial control. So, click on. So, three lines of items are now getting transacted. Now, the company is having a regular policy about inspection when it is now available on the stores itself. So, click on submit, which one of these three things will be submitted. There is the only one which is having a, otherwise these two things are not having a locator. Now, the company is now what I was, uh, examining this now. Now they found that what I was, uh, you were uh, the first one, fine, go to the manager serial numbers. I'm going to have a look at it. So, this is a laptop, let us say, fine, K0108, then we have no fine. We want to show all the serial numbers. Also. So, let us say, I will now, sorry, 301. So, 301. So we can even query on the top what happens your particular numbers also. Man. Otherwise, what happens, I will not go that point. So I will not just see this. Number. I will not go that. So where is the one? Is one? Three not one. Three not one. Three not one. So three not two and three not three are defective. Right? They are not operating. So I have no. I will not issue it at all. Right? Select it and then click on edit. Right? So three not one. Three not one. I am selecting it. Right? So select the not one and then it is having some problem and then I want to stop it from issue now. Right? So, 301 is the one selected and then click on edit. So, in my company, they normally have a disallow only for what sales orders issue and then raw material issue. The remaining we allow. But for trading purposes, even miscellaneous issue is disallowed. We are not disallowed everything. I will not have this what K01 disallowed. Even miscellaneous issue is disallowed actually. Miscellaneous issue is disallowed. So, 301 cannot be issued here for anything. And click on edit. All transactions are disallowed. Also. Similarly, 302 also. Not so, not 302. So, 302. Once again, 303, I will not do it. 301 is disallowed. 303, I am going to do it now. So, 303. So, click on. <coughs> so, I will not disallow it. So, it is not disallowed. So, so, if it's, if so Nana, if we allow, disallow all the transaction, how we can remove it from that? No, only for training purposes, we are doing it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, in reality, we will not dissolve only customer issues and raw materials. Issues. Only for training yeah. purposes, I am dissolving even miscellaneous issues. Miscellaneous issues, <laughs> subunit issues, intro issues, everything is dissolved only for training. 
So 301 and 303 are disallowed. We are going to make a check of it. Now I want to make a miscellaneous issue. So let us not perform a miscellaneous issue, then it will not be coming at all there. 301 and 303 will not come at all. So go there. So I have no good in this place. Thank you. Let us not perform a miscellaneous issue now. Thank you. Click on the create miscellaneous transaction. Go there. Drop it on. You know, this is only for training. We are testing it. In reality, you won't do like this now. And I have done it many things, but we have only two controls now. Fine? Only for the sales order issue on the day. When every company will be having different different ones. Accordingly, we are doing. Miscellaneous issue. I'm going to find too honest. So go there. Click on plus one. Item. I'm not going to zero one zero eight. And go there. Click on there. So click on the edit now. Fine? I will not put the RMS one now. So RMS one is the supplementary. When I put a first lot, fine. Go there. RMS one. When I put my first lot, it has got 301 to 310 available now. Fine, okay. So, the transaction quantities, let us say, four quantities I want to issue. So, go there. So, what is that? What is the RMS one? And then four quantities. Fine, okay. Give a tab now. Fine. We have to record lot on sale numbers. Record one. What do you want to issue now? Fine, okay. Whatever is available in the inventory can only be issued now. So, click on plus. Now. I got three lots. Fine, go okay. there. I will not choose the first lot now. I click on search now. Fine. I got three lots. I will not choose the first lot. Lot one. I'm going to choose lot two. So, lot one. so it has got only two lots in RMS. In RMS, lot one, lot two is only available. So go there. Enter serial number three. So 301 and 303 are already having a defective one. Fine. Click on it now. Four quantities has to be issued now. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. Both of them will not come in the list of value at all. Fine. 301 and 303 are not coming. Got it now. Fine. Now, the system has got a bug actually. So when I choose 302, the allocation has to start be, stop because there is a break here. So you should not allocate more at all. Fine. All the four should not be allocated. So what the system will do is what? 302, 303, 304, 305. So it will now go up to 305. You can see it's a bug actually. So 303 is already disallowed. And then if I choose 302, it should stop at 302 itself because it is break sensitive actually. Clear? Anybody has understood? Can you say yes to me? Hello? Okay, yes, ma'am. No, no. Yes, yes. Yeah. So 303 is not allow, available at all. So once when I choose 302, it has to stop allocating at 302, but system is having a bug. It will go on and allocate up to 305. Click on it. So click on it. So when there's a range, it is ignoring the... Yeah, in the range, it is ignoring the 303 is disallowed actually. The range is not allowing. But now tell me, if I perform the transaction, will it now be go through, going through or not? It is now picking up the 303 also. If I give a okay now, it will not going to fail actually. Stop. Then, mm -hmm. if I do it, it will not fail. If I am not trying to issue the four quantities, and it is going to fail. Because 303 is having a material control problem now. The serial number is invalid for the transaction because it has got a current status of so and so, so and so. -and -so. They should have populated the what was a physical reason actually. The technical team has populated the number actually. So, this is not allowed at all. So, we only have to do it properly. So, this is a bug actually. It is actually a bug. So this should not happen at all. Right? It is not allowing at all. The transaction is not allowed. So serial is not tested. Now we are going to test the lot actually. Go there. So let us not test the lot. So we will not go there. Click on it. So lot, they go there, go there. A particular lot, a, 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 a lot has come in the month of Mar March or May or whatever is not fine. That particular lot is not detected. Okay, 0, 1, 0, 8. So you got to click on search. Search it. So let's say lot 2 is defected. Right? So for the training purpose only, I'm again and enabling, I'm not dissolving all now. Fine. In reality, you won't dissolve like this. You'll not dissolve only certain transactions. Fine. So K01 dissolve. No, you know, same just as now. So click on OK. So lot two is dissolved, even for miscellaneous issue actually. Fine, in our case, this was only issue. In reality, it will be only sales order issue and then raw material issue only. Some companies will only be having a what happens, a, your raw material only. Fine. Like that, what happens, a, there will be so many such issues. Now, let us now go on and perform this transaction. Not done. So, click on the create miscellaneous transaction. If you go on and do it, now, click on it. Type is what? Miscellaneous issue. So, click on the miscellaneous issue. Account number. No, 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 this can be achieved through lot status also, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lot status. That is what we done now, fine. Lot status only, we are enabled. Lot 2 has been disallowed now. Lot status only, we are enabled. Serial status, we already tested now, fine. We are not using lot as draw status only. Lot status only, we are testing it actually. We are testing the lot status only. We are testing only the lot status. So K0108 and then give a tab now. I will not go to the edit test. So go there. 
if you put the sub inventory as rms1 rms1 has got two lots now fine rm lot 1 and lot 2 if you do it what happens we go there and search for it nothing like that i'll not go for 10 point is and like lot 2 will not even come in the list of values at all only lot 1 will come because lot 2 is disallowed so the lot status is tested and then the sub inventory and locator is a lab exercise for you i'll tell you what you have to do now you can pass on the sub inventory and locator is saying you have to do it in the lab you know what some companies is a very serious problem right? they they do the disallow on all the four on certain transactions actually and remember we were doing it when there were no computers through with the help of registers whenever, whenever they want to issue a customer they will now come and then open this disallow register and then see whether there is any particular entry for the serial number or not manually checking you know how difficult it is now fine so we have got a uh, special pickers available they have got a lot of memory actually so they know on a eighth page there is a disallowed error where not it cleared actually fine that one they will now go quickly open the pages and then they will now stop that particular serial number we were having special pickers when there were no computers at all <clears throat> so before they pack it to the customers <coughs> they will now <coughs> check the disallowed register and then see whether there is any entry at all and they will be having pages of entry actually so whenever the item becomes over okay, what happens we will now with a, with a with a red pen we will now cross it the disallows fine that means what the disallow has been rectified and then they will now make it as active fine that way we work fine they are all very old 80s 1980s i'm telling you when there were no computers we go that so click on it and then i will now go to what how to do the test for the sub inventories and locators i will not there is a lab exercise for click on the recommend us and then here going to do it now you know so now go that click on it i will now go to what search Go there. <clears throat> Manage percentage, sub percentage, right? Look up percentage and then enter. Manage sub percentage. Look up percentage. So what you have to do is you go there and then any of the sub percentage you go and then edit. We can very well change the status. You change the status and then make a test. So yeah, what happens? We can very well put our disallow now. Disallow we can do. So on the locate. I'm not giving us. So this is on the sub inventory. You can test it now. Similarly, I go to the pre-specified and then click on the manage locators. <coughs> locators also I can test it. I'm giving us now. I'm not giving it. I'm giving it. So you can even change it and then test it. Drop it down and then change it and test it. So both the sub inventory level material status and then the locator level material status is a lab exercise for you. You have to only have to first of all on paper you have to simulate everything and then see it and then afterwards do it. And then afterwards receive it accordingly and then what happens? Disallow it accordingly. So first of all, you have to make a plan on the paper about how to test the sub inventory and locators. What are all the things to be received? And then remember, for receiving there is no status control at all. Only for issues the status control is there. So with which we have completed all the four controls now. Right. All the four controls. Here. So we have now completed all the tough topics, and then the tougher topics are coming tomorrow. And then afterwards, next week it will be tough or tough. <laughs> Replenishments will be really very tough actually. The transfer orders is there in the inventory material transfer. Right? It is yeah. not there. The gen. Which one, which one? Transfer orders. Transfer orders is there, no? So here, what about the min max planning for sub inventory level transfer orders? Uh -huh. And then for org level also, it is a transfer order. So min max setup for org sourcing is a transfer order. And then we can even do a transfer order at sub inventory level also. These two are transfer orders actually. And we can even make it manual also. Transfer orders can be made. It's a very tough topic actually. Uh, small door now. Uh, can we can we maintain this inventory controls at the inspection level? If the inspection level means what? That comes under quality control. I'm not aware of the quality model. Fijil is knowing quality actually. In purchasing transactions, we are yeah yeah. Fijil knows quality. Probably he may be conducting his training along with manufacturing. Manufacturing quality control also he knows it. I'm not aware of quality. So I will not be able to conduct the training. Sure. Quality is not known. Tijil knows quality because he knows manufacturing. Man. So whenever he conducts training, he will be on quality also. Okay. Sir, is that so, possible to do material control for revisions? Material control for revision? No. Material control will work only for four things now. Fine. Four usages: serial usage. Lot usage, sub inventory level usage, and then locator usage. Fine, material status control is only for four usages, no other usage. Otherwise, you have to customize the application. But customizing the application is not so easy in Fusion. It is very easy in EVS, but here it's not so. You cannot do a customization like this. Thank you, sir.
So today's class has come to an end. Any other questions for you now? Tomorrow we are going to go for a tougher ones now. Uh, Nana, tell me. Uh, like in EBS, uh, we can have five controls. Like one will be like item level. An item can be put like uh, no no transaction can be allowed on item for some reason. Because an item quantity can be placed in many sub inventories, many locators. But I want to put the whole item on hold for some reason. So independent okay. of different sub inventories to be changed. You, this items itself will be made as inactive actually. If you have an item itself as an inactive, then item cannot be transacted. Back. So that is an item status actually. Here also we have the same thing. So if you go there, click on it. If you change the okay. status as what? If you go to the product management, and then if you change the status to inactive, then item cannot be transacted at all. And we can specifically do it also. And it's a good question. I will now come to that tomorrow morning. Good question. So go there, click on it. I will now go to what query and click on that command. Those items <coughs> that we put in the first item. So K zero one zero one. Make a search. Make a search. Make a search. So let me go to the master items. I will now open it up. So here we have a status here. Item status is available. So if you change it to what inactive, then or some other thing. What are all the transactions which are allowed and disallowed? Fine. So what are the attributes? It is going to work on the attributes now. Fine. So when I come to the inventory fundamentals, I will not come. When I come to the inventory front us, okay. what happens? I will not come to this. I will not come to this particular one on the inventory front us. It's not now. This is your question, now. Nah? Okay. Uh, almost all the functionality yes, exactly. is there. This is the this functionality everything is there. We don't have any anything which is missed out education. It may be today, it may be heavy now, right? <clears throat> If it is a light, can you put a green tick mark? If it is heavy, can you put a what I'm say, X mark? If it is in between, you can put a ghost load. It is not heavy, it is not light. If it is in between, you can put a ghost load. You must see how many of you have So, Abhishek is saying it's good. Sir, if you have already experience, uh, <laughs> it is easy, sir. Otherwise, it is an uh, heat up, heated session. <laughs> He's saying it's a very heated session, actually. <laughs> See, Kumar G has given a green tick now. Fine, fantastic, Kumar. Fine. Mahesh has also put a green now. Fine. He's saying they will understand whatever I say. Fantastic, beautiful. Hey, please uh, note down the people who have put a green tick mark now. Fine. So See, most please. of the concepts are from EBS, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah inventory we can sim simulate to EBS. Exactly. Most yeah. of the thing. Nana, you are uh, whatever examples you are giving, it's completely relatable. Like you said. Tube, you should we should put at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I can remember this forever. I mean whatever yeah. is for you. Mean. So that is excellent. Fantastic. Vijay Pani. No, I used to work for FMCG sector, uh, Nana. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. we're in uh, in FMC sector in Lavan uh, Oracle Lavan Lavan uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, We don't have material status, so we used to perform this using personalization, mm -hmm. just to, to stop some certain transactions. Mm -hmm. We used to use personalization to stop such things. Here you can use very well use the material status control. Tijil is also a very good man. He he has worked on it practically. So what happens there? now? You have it out. You can contact him. He'll be able to give you because uh, I have done some seven implementations, but all of them are very, very simple actually. In our company, we did it, but uh, nothing is complex actually. And that is why I don't have what happens uh, much of an exposure to the complex ones. Now. I have learned it, uh, but I never used it actually. <clears throat> Great, then we are going to jump into a very tough topic tomorrow. No, fine. Come with a fresh mind and then do it. No, fine. So this time you will know able to work on the straight away on the visions org itself. Right? 001 and 002 also you can work. You need not from have to here onwards, everything on vision, vision orgs. Yeah, you can very well work on vision orgs. So if you have time, you can create a structure and then do it. And then if you have time, the 30 minutes, 15 minutes exercise of creating what happens, one more inventory org on the vision structure, you can create and do it. All these things you do it, and then finally land up on the visions org of 001 and 002 and then experiment because. Concept wise, if you want to practice, uh, org creation is not a must actually. That is only for understanding purposes, you can create all the structure also, only for understanding purposes. But spend most of your time on the inventory concepts, that is very, very important actually. Because concepts are really very tough. 
so tomorrow you will not find see uh, i am really now itself i am afraid over how many of you will be understanding tomorrow session actually many people will be saying sir sir they, they will not stop me practically what happens in every session whenever i am taking the moment request i will be stopped totally <laughs> i have to go so very very slow actually right because of uh, so many questions coming the, the concepts <laughs> which which are different from ebs probably there you can go slow no this moment request is exactly like more only but people more. Uh, yeah, i have not done some the past 3 4 trainings i have seen that people stop me and then ask so many questions and then it will not go at a snail space actually you know see how this batch is going to respond <laughs> because that is a very tough concept actually moment request is a very tough topic so we have to go through that also tomorrow will be we are going to use serial lot everything patient thing great then bye for now and then take good rest my <laughs> those who are in australia what happens uh, they they are no what happens is here for a very long time you know around 2 o'clock in the morning no fine <laughs> and then those who are new us now only what happens is they have woken up on that the west coast what happens they would have taken a coffee now fine so all so many of you right? because finding one common time for the whole globe is very very difficult actually some or other we found this slot <laughs> so bye for now and then we'll now meet tomorrow at 5 pm india now Thanks, thanks, I'll be uploading thank a link in about five ten minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Nana. Thank you, Nana. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you, Nana. Good night. Bye. Good night. Tomorrow at what time? Five p.m. Everything is at five o'clock. Five p.m. India. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 All of you. Nana, sir, Shripati here. One question. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. That. Excel sheet one regarding that statuses you are you uploaded into that uh, yeah yeah program. control status the, I, I made a no I already uploaded into my inventory okay. you just watched it man it is already uploaded in the inventory because I was on forget it so during the class itself I uploaded in the SCM training inventory documentation I already uploaded uh, yeah that folder I think I don't have access now the very first you will be having an access everybody see you uh, again what happens I will know uh, you please ping me on WhatsApp I will know. send you the access again for everything yeah sure thank you send me a ping in me order uh, please give access to that uh, acm folder i will not yeah. give access to you. yeah sure thank anybody you. is having a problem please uh, say, ping me and whatsapp me there are all tough topics and then you have to what happens uh, concentrate and then learn now fine and remember you won't have time to run again in the field fine these are all running into hours and then uh, you cannot do it on the field It's very difficult first time running you have to take notes and then that will be a very good one if you are taking up proper notes sir. take notes when you are running it for first time yes thank you sir good and fine bye for now <clears throat> bye bye